Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Hersey, and as promised, I had mentioned I'm going to have some world caliber and world level coaches on this channel teaching you how to squat and some aspects of the squat. So today we have a very prominent figure that's known worldwide. His name is Dr. Stuart McGill. He's a, a spine specialist out of the University of Waterloo, and his book is uh, well sought after for its research and literature regarding squats as well as other aspects of lifting and the spine. The book is called Ultimate Back, uh, Ultimate Back Fitness and Performance. And if you haven't read this, whether you're a strength coach or a trainer or even just someone who's into fitness, this is a brilliant read that reveals a lot of the tips, tricks, secrets, and uh, logic and biomechanics behind human movement and how to generate more power on a squat, how to brace and such. So uh, I'll let you watch the video and then we'll finish with a conclusion. Today's video is actually on one of the squat's most controversial questions, which is the wink. So when the hip actually tucks under people when they squat uh, close to rock bottom, people, some say there's supposed to be a tuck, some say not. So Dr. McGill is going to answer that for you now. And then I'll follow up at the end to conclude. So watch the video, enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of it. And today I'm here with Dr. Stuart McGill, a spine and low back expert to discuss one aspect of the squat that many people have questions about, and that would be the hip tuck or that teardrop when you go down into your squat and the hips roll under you. So Dr. McGill is going to give us some information on whether or not that should occur and why it occurs. Dr. McGill? Well, let's just uh, define what it is we're talking about here. And would you mind standing up and just face me? And we're just going to start a squat now. So start to squat down. And we notice we have zero motion in the lumbar spine until we hit that spot right there. If you descend any deeper, the hip tucks underneath and you lose the natural lordotic curve of the spine. So here's what happens when you lose that natural curve. Uh, the spine starts to flex like this. And you'll see that little disc bulge in the back as we flex and squeeze, you'll see the disc bulge grow because of the hydraulic pressure. The geometry of the flex spine pressurizes the nucleus towards the back and you get nerve root pressure and pain. If the spine is locked in that neutral curve and you descend, you can squeeze as hard as you like and it won't create the hydraulic pressure uh, on, the, on the back and on the nerve roots. So this is governed by uh, uh, several different anatomical uh, features. Some people can naturally uh, squat back. As they squat down, they can keep that nice lordotic curve or neutral curve in their back. But others have a much deeper hip socket. So as they squat down, the femur hits the anterior of the acetabulum, and it locks. So any uh, motion going deeper into the squat causes the spine, and you see the pelvis breaking away from the spine there. And it's that motion and stress in the low back that eventually the annulus or the outer parts of the uh, disc will delaminate, and with enough cycles and sufficient load, uh, you will end up with a disc bulge. So that's the disc bulge mechanism, and it's caused by uh, that tuck or the wink or yeah, whatever wink. You, you might want to refer to at the bottom of the squat. So very much as a, as a stylistic uh, question, uh, depending on your anatomy, your uh, hip width, uh, and that sort of thing. But we can set it up and do some qualifying tests. Sure, excellent. There you have it, folks. There's the answer as to whether or not the hip tuck or the wink is supposed to occur in a squat. Uh, for more information on Dr. McGill's work, you can visit www.backfitpro.com. Uh, he sells his book on that website as well as a couple of other products, another book um, which is a bit more detailed in the spine mechanics and geared to more, more towards the, the back itself. Uh, we're going to have some great new uh, coaches coming up as well, continued videos with some of these world-renowned experts, so make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you have a comment or a question, just fire it off below, and other than that, there's also some rich content at www.howtosquat.net. Until next time, we'll see you then.